Joining us now here on the MMA Report on Radio Influence is one of the men that's going to be in the main event of Shamrock FC 272 coming up on July 8th at the Ameristar Casino in Kansas City. And of course, if you're not in the Kansas City area, uh, internet pay-per-view, shamrockfightingchampionships.com. It is Kendrick Lashman, who's 5-2 and two in his career, and he's going to be looking to get back on the winning side of the fight. Kendrick, uh, appreciate the time. You know, I say get back on the winning side of the fight. I sat back and I watched your fight against Kevin Gray prior to us doing this interview. And first off, the thirty twenty seven scorecard. I'm kind of I don't understand what the the uh, the judge that scored that fight thirty twenty seven was looking at. But for you, as you're standing there waiting for those scores to be read, was there a thought process at all in your mind that that score was not going to go your way? Uh, no, I thought it was going to go my way. Um. I don't know. I, at first, I blame the judges, but, you know, it's part of the fight game. You can't leave it to the judges. You got to finish the fight, and I should have finished it and been more active. You know, I, I think when, you know, going back in the second round of that fight, that, that triangle that you had locked in, do you, do you look at that more of, I just, that you, you like, I did just not, I didn't have it technically in the way you wanted to, and that was really the reason you couldn't get the finish there? Uh, yeah, I, I looked back at it, and it was a small mistake I made putting on that triangle. I didn't get the angle that I needed to, and if I had got that, I would have finished it, but I didn't do that, and I've been making adjustments to that, making sure if I get in that position again, I'll make sure I'll finish. Do you, when you obviously second lost your career, is it one of those things that do you try to forget about it, or do you always want to kind of remember, you know, ultimately why you didn't didn't get the victory on that. Is, is it something that you, you, you'll always think about? Is it one of those things of, you know what, it's in the past and, and I've moved on? Uh, I don't want to forget about it, but I don't want to, like, beat myself up for it. Uh, it sucks. It's a sucky feeling. I hate when I lose. And I just want to remember that feeling because I want to win. I don't want to lose. And I always look at it as a learning lesson, what I have to do next time when I get in there. Uh, I got to be more active. Uh, things I got to do different. Yeah, I, I, one of the the things in that fight that that kind of stuck out to me was, you know, you you were trying to get him engaged. You, you were doing various things to try to get him engaged. Where, you know, when you go back and you watch that fight, is it is it frustrating for you to kind of sit there and go, man, I just wish he would engage more, especially on the feet. Uh no, it's, it's not frustrating. It's um, sometimes I always I like. It. If I was thinking that uh, about the judges at the time, I would have probably been more active. And it, like I said, it's fifty-fifty the judges, and it was my doing. Uh, it's not completely the judges' fault. Like I said, I should have been more active. I I could have finished the fight if I wanted to. I just played around too much. And of course, the uh, the fight coming up here on July eighth, Shamrock Fighting Championships two seventy two are going to be taking on. Sharky Slater, of course, he he lost on that night as well. He is coming off a win at, at Victory FC. He's very young in his career, just like yourself. You do, you do have the experience advantage uh, in this fight. But uh, you know, first off, when when it comes to your opponent, what are, what are some things that come to mind? Uh, it's gonna be an exciting fight. Uh, I like his fight style. It's pretty good. It matches up well with mine. Um, I like the way he fights. He don't back down. So I like that. Uh, I kind of expected Kevin to bring it, but he didn't. What, so, when, we'll see. When you're expecting a, a fighter that you expect him to bring it, you mentioned you, you thought you'd get that Kevin, it didn't. Now you're you're expecting uh, Slater here to bring it to you. Do you do you at all in the back of your mind have to have to think about well, you know what 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 am I going to do if he doesn't expect he doesn't fight the fight that I think he's going to fight? Do you do you is that part of the preparations as well? Oh yeah, for sure. Um, that was one of the problems, too. I uh, watched previous fights with Gray, and he was aggressive in every fight, and I was just expecting that. It was, I'm really comfortable when a fighter comes in aggressive. So uh, if not, you know, I go on offensive and be more aggressive myself because I can either fight. I can either counter strike or just be a pure aggressive striker. In preparations for this fight, is it is it just merely about just kind of working on, on... – the aspects that you expect to be in this fight game in this fight, or is it one of those things of, you know, I'm always concentrating on myself and, and I'm always just working on the entire game as a whole. Well, it's just 
uh, getting back to the old me, just working on the entire game itself. Uh, expect everything, be prepared for everything. Uh, like Sharky's an aggressive guy, but I don't know. He might change up his styles when we fight, and he might not be as aggressive. He might be cautious. But that's something I have to be looking out for. I have to adjust to it. What's it mean to you to be fighting in the main event of this fight card? Uh, <laughs> I like to get it over with fast, get the fight, and like just go out there and fight. And it's uh, exciting to be main event, you know. When I started out fighting, I always wanted to be last fight. It's like an honor. It's always saying save the best for last. But, you know, as you get more fights, you want to be the first fight. Just want to get it over with. How do all the adrenaline? You know, how do you make sure you know when you you know being the last fight of the night that uh, you don't have that you know adrenaline dump a lot sooner than than you want? I mean, is, is there anything that you do in in preparations for this fight that maybe you alter at all? Well, I try not to watch any of the fights because <laughs> it'll get me going. I try to, like uh, until I get to the main card, I'll watch the fights. Um. And then I'll just go in the room, just like try to relax, uh, try to keep my head level, don't try to freak myself out or anything. Just it, focus on the fight and what I'm gonna do. You know, some guys will will have routines on, on fight day. Is there any routines for you? And uh, it, or and if there is, do you have to change up any of those routines just based on the fact of, you know, I, I know you know the entire car is fighting before I am. Uh, I don't really have any routines before the fight. I just wake up, <laughs> do breakfast, and just chill with friends and with, uh, teammates. You know, just get my mind off the fight before it happens so I can stay relaxed. That, that's basically it. I don't try to do anything. I don't want to think about it until it's time to fight. You know, all that work is leading up to fight day. Is that the... You know, as for you, how would you describe fight day for yourself? Is it just merely just, you know, anxious for it to get here? Oh, yeah. I can't wait for it to get here. It's like uh, the anticipation is waiting for the fight to come. You just want to get it done. Is there is there more of that anxious feeling because of, of the fact of the last fight not going your way and maybe – you know, kind of feeling a, a little bit of extra weight on your shoulders to, you know, get that get that L and, and get back on the winning side? Um, not at all. I don't like that every fight. I want to get it over with. You know, it's because uh, I'm working so hard for him in training. I'm just like, want to get the fight done. Just go in there and get the job done. And I can relax after that. Just chill with family and friends. So, and, you know, training camp, you don't really get to hang out with it, you know, your friends or your family. You're just busy training, working on your skills and craft, trying to make sure there's no holes. So it's always wanting to get it over with so I can just go back to relaxing and just hanging out with family and friends. Fighters always talk about the, the sacrifices you have to make as a fighter, whether uh, you know maybe it's you know during camp you, you can't spend that time with your family and friends you want to, you can't have that, that social life you want to, or maybe it's, you know, hey, there's just certain foods during camp that, that you cannot eat. What, for you, what is the biggest sacrifice? Uh, it's mostly the social life. Uh, I lost a lot of friends because of um, they're not as understanding of what I'm trying to do. <clears throat> as like a fighter, I, I want to make sure I don't have any holes um, when I go out there and fight. Uh, I'm a huge perfectionist when it comes to that. I want to make sure I feel comfortable in every area. Well, mentally, I want to make sure I'm mentally prepared, physically prepared, and just everything. And they don't understand how much time it takes to do that and how much you have to put into it. Is it is it harder to be mentally prepared for a fight as opposed to physically prepared for a fight? Uh, <laughs> it depends on the person. Uh, for me, it's always easy to be mentally prepared for a fight because I'm always in shape. Uh, mentally, not so much as long as I'm not like really you know, stressed out of my life outside of it, but uh, everything's pretty much always balanced. So uh, mentally and physically, it's not too hard on me. Is there anything that you will do to, to make sure that uh, the things going on outside of the training room and outside of, of the fight game don't uh, you know? Don't bleed into the fight game. You know, you know, guys will talk about you know, hey, maybe there, there's some issue you know away from the cage that it, it allows your mindset. I mean, how do you make sure that you don't allow 
you know, other things to bleed into the fight game? Well, if it's things that I can control, I'll try to make sure I stay away from like any drama or any stressful situations. I'll try to stay for, away from it. But things that I can control, I'm like, oh, well, it just ha- it happens, you know, just try to block it out, try to stay focused on the fight. Because mm-hmm. that's what I want to do is be 100% focused mm-hmm. on the fight. And, of course, the fight coming up here on July the 7th, Shamrock FC 272 at the Ameristar Casino in Kansas City. Kendrick, really appreciate your time. Final thing, how do, you, how do you get the victory in this fight? Uh, Whatever I get, if I get finished, whether it's come by a KO, TKO, or submission, whatever I'm taking, but I don't want to leave it in the hands of the judges, and I'm pretty sure they don't either. So, well, it's going to be a good fight. Nobody, everybody's not going to want to miss it, so it's going to be a really exciting fight. Kendrick, appreciate time. Good luck in the fight, man. All right, thank you.